I've used Notion for a few different things, managing my writing, creating standard procedures in my business, or even documenting important items in my home. But in the past, I often found it time intensive to bring in information or rework it so it's clear in Notion. But one feature is changing this for me, Notion AI. Today, I wanna to show you how I've started using Notion AI to complement my Notion usage and make it easy to distill thoughts and insights on any book or article I read. Let's dig in. Let me show you how I personally use Notion AI. This is a recent document that I worked on that I interacted with in a way that's really only now possible because of the incredible new features of Notion AI. So here's the background. I recently read a book which is called $100 Million Offers by a marketing coach and consultant named Alex Hormozy. Uh, several of my entrepreneur friends had recommended this book to me and they said it transformed their business. So I thought, you know what, let me read this book. I am now a parent of two kids, so I don't have a ton of time to be reading long books. So I actually listened to this book on audio. Then I would open up the Notion mobile app as I was listening and write down in my own words some of the most important points that I felt he was making that applied to me and my business. When you look at my screen, that's what you see. The title of the book up here, and then many, many points that this amazing book presented to me. And isn't that always the case? The better the book, the more value it contains, the longer your notes are gonna be. In fact, we can look here and see that it has 3,600 words. 3,600 words just for the notes on a single book. This already represents probably five, six hours or more of concentrated attention and effort on my part. No small feat just to have these notes exist in the first place. But in this raw form, they're too messy, they're too unfinished. They need what I sometimes call refinement. You need to add structure, you need to change how they're presented, and I don't have time to do it. Isn't this so often the case when it comes to note taking? You have these notes in front of you that you're just so confident are incredibly valuable, but because you just don't have the time and bandwidth to turn them into a more refined form, so much of that value is just not available to you. So in my case, a few weeks had passed since I finished taking these notes. What was this book about again? Even in just a few weeks, I had sort of lost a lot of the context of what the book is even about. Luckily, I can just hit the space bar, which brings up this prompt with all the different options that I can use AI for. There's actually quite a few of them. I encourage you to explore this on your own. The first one I used, however, is simply summarize. I'm just going to click with my mouse on the summarize option. You can see it says AI is writing. I'll then hit done. And you can see it added in this just two or three sentences sentence, four line, highly succinct summary of the document. Just take a second and notice how incredible just that is. How long would it take you or any human being to generate a three sentence summary of a document that is over 3000 words long? You'd have to read through the entire document beginning to end, probably go through multiple iterations, distilling down, down, down until you could have something so succinct. With Notion AI, it takes literally seconds. Let's go up here and write summary and make that a heading. But another thing that I'd like to know is the action steps. This document is a huge collection of observations, experiences, case studies, recommendations, some action items, but they're kind of lost and buried amid a huge quantity of other information. So what I'm gonna do next is once again, hit the space bar, and then I'm going to click here where it says find action items. <laughs> Took another few seconds. You can see it gives me around half a dozen initial action items. And what's kind of cool is the AI kind of stops and asks you for feedback. You know, am I on the right track? Should I keep going? Should I try something different? I actually like what it's doing. So I'm just going to click continue writing. And that's it. I'll hit done. And again, in a infinitesimal fraction of the time, I have around a dozen items that identify the key action steps that the author of this book, Alex Hormozy, thinks I should take as a business owner. I'm going to scroll up, add another heading called action items. 
And there's one more thing that's left to do. I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom of this document. We're getting ready to launch my book, Building a Second Brain, in Brazil. That's where my family's from. I plan on going there to support the launch. It's the most important launch of the book since it came out in the US. One thing that I'm doing is working with a local marketing consultant in Brazil to apply everything that I've been learning about online marketing to the launch of the book in Portuguese. Think how often you're working with a colleague or you hire someone to work with you and you have a piece of knowledge you want to share that you would like them to benefit from as well. Well, in this case, I need it to be in Portuguese. Everyone that I'm going to work with down there speaks Portuguese. Luckily, I can use AI to translate without having to leave Notion. So I'm going to hit the space bar and then I'm going to click right here where it says translate. You can see all the different languages here and I'm going to hit Portuguese. And there you go. Hezumu in Portuguese means summary. So it's actually translating the work we've done previously with Notion AI, just so we have all the same details. We're completely on the same page. And every time that I reference a term or a strategy or a tactic, my Brazilian counterpart, my collaborator, can do a search in his own Notion account and see exactly what I'm talking about. Those are just three examples, three of really the simplest examples. There's much more that Notion AI can do. But those were three simple examples of how I use artificial intelligence, and specifically Notion's new AI feature, to save what would take me as a human being probably dozens of hours. Now I get all those dozens of hours back. I get to use those instead, not on summarizing things and translating and making bullet points and summaries, but on more strategic, more intentional, more novel and creative work, thus advancing my goals for my business and my work even further and even faster. Videos like this one take dozens to hundreds of hours for us to produce. That's why when Notion, who we make plenty of unsponsored videos about anyway, asked to sponsor this video, it allowed us to keep making in-depth videos like this and also helps fund all the other videos we wanna release. So if you'd like to check out Notion for your second brain, go ahead and click the link in the description to check it out and support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I wish you the best of luck on building your very own second brain.